My name's John Jeffries. I'm the owner of Cocoa Reef Resorts. That's brilliant. And um, we're here at World Travel Market today. Um, do you have any news that you're announcing here at the show? Well, we have a number of interesting uh, <laughs> stories. Probably the most recent is that we have completely rebuilt, reconstructed and redesigned our beach bar at Cocoa Reef. It's named Bacchanal's Beach Bar. It's right on the beach. It uh, seats about uh, 92 people. And we've been able to uh, change the whole look of it. New decking and new furniture, uh, new wine distilling and um, new wine storage units. So it's quite fabulous. Wow, that's the Cocoa Reef in Tobago. Cocoa Reef in Tobago. Um, and San, you have um, a new development in the Bermuda property. In Bermuda, we've just finished um, building a special private dining room. It is really an exotic room. <laughs> it's filled with antique French Baroque furniture. And what we do in that room is we provide people with uh, private dining with set menus like prestige tasting menus selected wines and it is becoming a very popular event the cost is rather expensive it's uh, it starts at 500 but it does include a gift to go home with so something quite special um quite special. <laughs> and speaking of which you've recently um picked up two world travel awards for caribbean's leading hotel in tobago's leading hotel yes. um, so you've got new exciting developments like this setting you apart um, is there anything else that you attribute to winning these awards well I believe that the hotel business is actually very much like the theater what you have to do is build a fabulous setting a fabulous staging in the shape of a very beautifully designed hotel and then the equally important part of it is that you must have as I call them, the actors, the staff, because that's the other critical ingredient in its success in our business. So I feel that I'm a bit of a hotel producer. I build the set and I bring in the very best staff in the Caribbean to provide our guests with the best in service. And um, this is all in spite of the challenging economic times that we're currently facing. What do you think is the key to success here? Well, our business is based on a 42% repeat factor, which is extremely high, as you know. And the way to keep these people is to constantly improve your hotel. They like to come back to Cocoa Reef because they know it and they don't want it to change, but they do want it improved. Mm -hmm. So by building a new beach bar, we will give them something interesting to look at next year. Last year, we completely redesigned our spa and fitness center, put in the latest in Cybex machines. People like to see something new. They like to see that you are not just relying on how things were the year before. They want to see improvement, but not necessarily change. And speaking of improvement and new things looking ahead, you've got some exciting new plans um, for next year. Yes, we are in, t in Bermuda we are building some condominiums which will be for sale for residential use but you can also put it into the hotel pool mm -hmm. and uh, we're building in uh, Tobago some additional suites for the hotel so we have a lot of building to do but this is actually a good time to build because construction companies are more amenable <laughs> to uh, better pricing and um, can you tell us about the plans for a new art gallery underway yes that is nearly complete it's a 5,000 square foot art gallery it features the most beautiful crystal and 24 karat gold chandeliers you've ever seen in your life uh, not that that has an effect on the art um, and it's all Caribbean Latin American and South American art all oils we only deal in oils and the gallery will also have at the back a 24 seat tapas and wine bar so the idea is you can come in have a little snack take your glass of wine walk around and then hopefully buy some very expensive paintings and um, um, what made you decide to launch the art gallery are you bi a, a big fan of artwork well I've always been an art collector and I 
initially found that I had too much, so I thought I need to cut down, and that's how the idea germinated. Uh, since then, I've been collecting more, of course, so that I have plenty of art to sell in the gallery. But it will be an unusual combination of having a very attractive art gallery with a tapas and wine bar in the back of it. Sounds lovely. Thank you.